Hello, and welcome to this free patches video on a module release with a difference, the new limited edition Try from Instro. Here's what's to come. This video is sponsored by Jason H. Lim. You might have seen Try before, it was the first filter that Jason designed as Instro on the original brass panels, and it had a later kind of normal release too. But this version of Try exists for a very specific reason. Winston, Jason's lovable large greyhound that I'm sure you've seen around Instro content before, recently got ill and is going through an expensive round of radiotherapy to combat a cancer diagnosis. Jason pitched the idea that he could release a module that to the end user is the same as any other release. It's not a GoFundMe, it's not a donation, he could simply make a module and people could buy it if they wanted to have one. But in this instance, behind the scenes, the mechanisms are a bit different so that all the proceeds can help to pay for Winston's treatments. Literally, as I record this, Jason's text me and let me know he'd be at the vets this morning as I chat with him about this video. On the back of the module and on the product page, Jason's wrote about all this and he speaks about it in his demo video of Try 2, which is well worth watching, not just for the story, but for the sounds and functions of Try. So this isn't a plea for support and donations, but as this module exists for a specific reason and the mechanisms behind the scene are a bit different, it was important for me to make that clear. This is a module that's released. Here's a demo, you can buy one if you like and then behind the scenes, all proceeds will support the cost of Winston's treatments. On the note of different things behind the scenes, this is sold through Etsy, directly by Jason. He's making these to order, in his own time, however signal sounds are helping out and distributing. Links to all this below. All that aside, let's get into this. This is a free patches series video, where I distill something down to just free patches, and explore those with you. For the free patches, I'm going to focus heavily on sub-octaves, which might sound a bit weird for a filter, but this new limited edition Try actually has two sub-octave generators normal to its mixer. So let's go through the features. Try is your classic Moog transistor ladder low-pass filter design. It features a free channel input mixer, and that offers enough level to really push in and saturate the transistors in the circuit. And this is where the sub-generators are. Input 1 internally goes to a flip-flop based sub-octave generator and that outputs as a normal signal to input 2. Input 2, whether you patch an input or that's the normal sub derived from input 1, then goes to its own flip-flop based sub-octave circuit and that outputs to the normal of input 3. So one input here can give you both minus 1 and minus 2 octave subs to play with to mix and create combinations of or you can patch in three inputs or two inputs and still have a sub. You have an output level control, both coarse and fine tune filter frequency controls, a volt per octave input, a linear FM input with attenuator, and a resonance control. The timing index is below, as well as the Etsy link and the link to Jason's video. Skip around, ask questions in the comments, and let's dive in. So we can't get into a filter demo without the universal filter test of a low pitch saw wave, and some filter sweeps. There's lots of saturation here in the subs. Let's first just play with level, sweeps, and resonance. And you can hear it's not compensated. It's that classic resonance make things quieter, transistor ladder design and you can choke out the resonance with the input level. Now if I tune a bit higher here, we have our first sub, as it flip-flop sub generates the first input and normals that to the second, so you can mix a sub. push into that saturation and the second channel's input 
or the sub that's generated from the first, if that's still normal without a connection, will generate another sub to tune up a touch more. So we have two octaves below sub, one octave below sub, and the saw. So that's the sound of Try and its new subs. So let's build up a really thick, kind of woolly, saturated bass tone out of the filtering and really heavily animate it. I'm going to play over that briefly and then I'll strip it back and go through what's going on. So the patch starts with a simple saw wave, green tracing cables here from Neoni. And coming into the mixer here we can saturate these transistors. And as well as that saturation we have the subs, so input saw, minus one octave sub. So we have a minus two, and a minus one, and our input, all from input one building up a mix there of the two subs and the input saw. Now adding in the pitch sequence back to my oscillator, I'm going to take a copy of that into the vault per octave on the filter. So the filtering is now relative, the tone of the filter that is, or the cutoff of the filter is relative to the pitch coming in. We'll add some modulation. And we're going to really highly animate this with a mixer with four different modulation sources with an envelope, an LFO, and a sequence. And an audio rate modulated modulation source. Now I'll mute the output of the filter here, and in the mixer I have a copy of what this modulated modulation is. It's the wave folded output from Neoni. You could use a second oscillator just tuned higher into a VCA, stereo strip here, just a basic quarter note envelope animating the sound. So what you're hearing is what's present in the mixer to come through and do audio rate modulation of the filter. We'll add the envelope back to the mix, the LFO, and the sequence, some effects back in, So in a somewhat similar way to the first patch, here's another kind of dynamic, riffy, kind of synth pattern. But one thing that having subs does, is afford us this kind of dual layering technique that's something I really enjoy. Where a single oscillator can create a whole kind of wider, deeper, kind of richer palette of sound. Now outside of Try, I'm splitting my square wave from Neon here. Everything comes from this square. That's animated in Akari, and that has some effects on it. Now muting that sound, the output of Try, is less frequently animated. And I'm just using the subs. And it's the ability here to actually input a sound, generate subs, and remove the input sound that I'm really enjoying. If I turn these down and turn this up, here's that input square wave. So then we have the sub and the minus two octave sub. So generating these lower subs, creating separation by focusing on two octaves lower. I'm 
I'm going straight into the Vault Proctive here with this green trace and envelope. So you can hear that's not as active as that top line. So try here is all about creating subs, separation in pitch here, and animating it differently with this really strong kind of dual layer patch. A little bit of LFO, the blue trace here to linear FM. Just for some soft kind of ebb and flow against the envelopes here. Quite a lot of res. So a single oscillator, a single pulse, and two layers here. So here's a fun patch for sub-octave generators. And while I'm doing this on try, you could use other sub-generators or even clock dividers to achieve similar results. The advantage here being we can filter and animate and mix this with the subs and the input. Now muting the output of try and centering things in my mixer, here's the saw wave out of Neoni into a VCA just animated with an envelope. And this is just the base, the kind of basic state of the patch. Here's the main out of Neoni, which is the wave folder output, as the input to try with the filter wide open. I can add the subs. But as subs need a zero crossing point to latch on and create the sub octave, as I fold the wave, listen to how that sub actually locks on to different sub harmonics. Here it is on the minus two sub, as input one is divided down an octave and two down an octave onto channel three. Let's listen to that against the bass state. This basic saw wave. And again, this is just sweeping the wave folder at the input. If I was to sequence this, so a sequenced wave folder mount, here it is, just coming through the filter. Here's how that affects the first sub. You get this sync effect where it's locking into different sub harmonics. On the minus two sub. Now that's against the main saw wave and I'll pan these left and right slightly. We have a synced subharmonic additional kind of harmony sequence going on. Let's listen to try on its own. And I'll slow down this sequence of the folding. This is what's coming in. just sequenced but slower sequenced wave folding changes which result in different subharmonic locking on these subs. Now filtering this, bit of LFO to the filter, panning that back out right, bringing in the saw wave slightly left. If you've got this far in the video, go drop a Winston sync down in the comments. I hope you like filters with sub-octave generators, I've certainly had a lot of fun here. You can support me over on patreon.com forward slash divkid with lots of extras over there. Hit like and subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye!